What is good, YouTube? Welcome back to the Mother Loving Channel. It's your girl, Kiana J, back at it again with a hair tutorial. As you all know, I am a college student, and you guys know the expenses of living this life. With that being said, again, Again, I do not have time to be paying out of pocket $200. With that being said, you know, your girl just been practicing on her own, practicing on other people. Actually, they had some business coming in with doing other people's hair. So currently in my head now, I've been seeing this trend. And these are called the Knotless Braids. Check out the parting. Your girl is amazing. Oh, crrr. I did buy five packs of pre-stretched feathered hair and out of the five packs I did end up using all five packs and this is what I had left so if you're gonna do this hairstyle that's all you really need is five packs of hair especially if you just want to get them the length that I have mine but I'm just so proud of myself y'all can't tell me who what what Africans ain't no Africans been up in this count so if you guys again want to save money and just want to basically do it yourself then just keep on watching As you guys seen, I already like got done with the middle of my head, going back, all that is off the way. So what I went ahead and did was just part the front section down the middle. And I like to make sure my party gotta be on fleek, okay? I don't play with that cricket party, et cetera. Now the back, that might be a different story because hey, I don't have eyes back there. But anyway, so far so good, if you ask me. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and just part this section. So we're just gonna make this whole piece right here braid itself. I'm gonna go ahead and put my other hair away. What you're gonna go ahead and do is take two pieces of strand out of this bundle. And I guess it depends on how big you're making your braid on how big the strand needs to be. I didn't think I was gonna go this small, but I did anyway. But I feel like the smaller, the cuter. All right, so these are my two strands. I'm just gonna put this to the side right quick. I got them both on my leg. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do to just prep my real hair right here, I'm gonna be taking Murray's Edge Wax, and this is their Extreme Hold Edge Control and basically just take some of that you just go ahead and just lay this all over the root of your real hair all right now that we're closer we're going to take this our real hair split this into three sections and then all you basically doing oh by the way don't mind this stuff it's going to dry up anyway what you want to do is go ahead and just take three strands of your real hair and then just basically start plaiting Start plaiting. And once you start plaiting, what you're gonna do is you don't plait the whole thing, you just plait enough to where it can just like start your braid. That's the reason why they call it knotless braid. Go ahead and take your strand of hair. So taking your strand of hair, remember now you got three, three legs, three strands of hair from your real hair. You're gonna take this and basically get the first strand and get the third strand and then hook it up with your real hair and then just start braiding it simple as that and then you're gonna stop in the middle after you maybe go around like two times as far as braiding you're gonna go back with the other piece and basically the same thing add it to that first strand you see what I'm doing? So I put, I'm placing it in the middle and I'm taking the fake hair, attaching it to my first three strands, uh, attaching it to my first strand of real hair and taking this second strand of the fake hair and attaching it to my third strand of the real hair. I hope this is making sense. It's, it's really easy, I promise you guys. When you hook that up, you just start braiding again and just keep on braiding. And this is what you call a knotless braid. I know for a fact a 12 year old can do it. And as you can see, this hair is it's not even coming to lose or nothing. It's very lightweight. As you notice with regular box braids, you know, people knot them up in the beginning, which cause a lot of tension, a lot of pain. You know, you can't sleep for the first couple of nights. 
because your head just thumping but this here is very easy very manageable to maintain like no sleepless nights for you you ain't gotta worry about sleeping cute because sis you gonna be cute regardless oh I'm, I'm still close my bad <laughs> and bam that is what it looks like i'm gonna go ahead and do majority of the rest of my hair all right you guys so i just finished my knotless braids they are all braided up and done looks like i got it growing from the scalp okay honey so just to finish off the look what i'm gonna go ahead and do now is grab a cup of steaming hot water you see that smoke look at that look at that <laughs> yeah we're gonna grab that and we're just gonna dip these in leave it in there until i can actually see that the ends are straight and you definitely want to make sure you have some type of towel nearby so it won't drip on you onto your floor and as you can tell there's a difference And voila, the ends do not look raggedy anymore. They simply just look straight. So now that the ends are done, the next thing I'm going to do is take some of my favorite foaming lotion. This is by BB. And this basically just add a tint of shine to your hair. much done and lastly i cannot forget about these edges because honey <laughs> we got to make sure these on sleek okay so i'm just going to be taking some of this got to be glue invisible styling gel and this is in the black bottle and then i got my handy dandy edge tool if you don't have one of these i suggest you guys invest because listen this will change your life enjoyed this tutorial it was definitely easy if you are thinking about getting knotless braids i would definitely say go for it because it is the bomb diggity i feel no pain i feel pain free hallelujah and they're just so pretty if you found this video helpful definitely go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel because we are almost at 2k holla at you girl i will see you all in the next one Why you gotta do this? Uh, why you put me through this? Uh, why you gotta do this?